Welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, I'm on jailbreak and sliding down a mountain. So, I have been doing my tasks. I've, I'm pretty sure I did them every single day. But, I must have got unlucky with the amounts of XP. Because you can get like 20, 25, 30. I think that's sort of a range you get. And, I must have got unlucky because there's only two days left. And I've done every single day so far. And I almost didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I just need to do one more task and I'll get it. And today I can either bust some criminals in a bank robbery or use a road spike to pop tires. Pretty sure which one of those I'll do. I haven't seen any videos on this, so it'll be completely new to me. So yeah, I'm not sure if I missed some days, but I'm pretty sure I did every single day, and if it weren't for the double um, XP thing, I wouldn't have got it. Okay, so we've put a road spike there. If we come over here, we can wait and watch until a criminal... Oh, there we go. I also have a nuke. That's another thing. And we can just go straight over here and get this car. Now, this one says it's worth 500,000. I think the last one said that too. I don't know how to pronounce it, but th this one was the last season reward, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I guess they're going for 500k now rather than whatever it was before. Non upgraded vehicle. Going pretty fast. Seems to turn quite quickly do sharp turns, I'm not sure if that's just me. Let's see how sharp of a turn it can do once it's actually up to speed. So what kind of speed can it get to? Well, 180's pretty good. 190, I guess. I guess its speed is basically 190. So let's try those other cars that are in the 500. Maybe the... oh no. I don't want to spawn this mini. So it's called the Icebreaker. So we've got the Icebreaker, the Eclair, and the whatever it is. Vignette. Yeah, so like 190 was the speed of it. I'm going to try this car, and then next I'll try this car, the Eclair. Why is it spawned all yellowy? Okay, this one speeds up a lot quicker and goes faster at its final speed. So this is better. The Icebreaker can turn quite well. Yeah, like two... 30 I'd say is probably. So then if I try the Eclair, I mean the Eclair gets purchased so it's sort of different but I mean it's at the same value. Yeah this can go fast, this can go like 40. Yeah like 40, this can go 240. Let's get ourselves the new car again. It's like completely silent. Yeah it's like 190. But it can turn quite well. I'm going to go and get the Roadster, because the Roadster seems similar. The Roadster is quite hard to keep at its top speed. Not the easiest to steer, but I guess you are often at a very fast speed, since it is basically always at its top speed. I can confirm the Icebreaker does not break ice. Let's try the steering again. So I definitely feel like it's better for turning. It starts moving pretty quickly, a bit like the Roadster, but it doesn't get to its top speed very quickly. I mean, it gets to like 150 very fast, but it takes a little while to get beyond that. Yeah, it does turn quickly though. I don't think it's really that good. Cool collector's item, of course, but not the best vehicle in the game or anything, so... You'd be better off using the Eclair or this if you were here for last season. And definitely better off using the Roadster. I might do my bust some criminals in a bank robbery. So I just need to try and bust this bank robbery. I can take someone from prison and then go and let them into the bank. Because now that the robbery started, I can let them in with my keycard. There we go. Got someone aboard. Come in. Come down here. Oh, it looks like we've got someone in here. Already. i just go for the bank vault then. There we go. Okay, we did our task today. 
What's my number now? Uh, still 39. It kind of has to refresh each day or something. I've tried out the new vehicle. Decided it's pretty much useless. <laughs> and... Yeah. I mean, if it spawned somewhere on the map, it wouldn't be useless. But since you have to spawn it in in a garage, what's the point? I mean, you could just spawn a better one. <laughs> might as well... Might as well just spawn in the concept car, or the roadster, or whatever. Like, the two best land vehicles. Maybe the Volt Bike. Yeah, this and the last one probably beats it, but... Uh, it's either second or third. Depending on how much you like air vehicles and whether the crew capsule actually um, beats it or not. I personally would say this is the most useful of the... Um, vehicles because I might use this since it's an air vehicle that you can spawn in when the other ones I'd rather just use the concept car or the roadster doesn't even look really weird like the banana car I mean if you want to mess around or use some cool vehicle go with the banana car I mean you've got you got this like banana with wheels that bounces everywhere for some reason yeah, I think that's going to have to end today's video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Bye!